here at the moment doing a little scheduled maintenance on the uh, wetterlings. Um, I want to put a convex style edge on the thing. Uh, I understand it retains the edge a lot better than uh, any other edge you can put on it. I tried to use my whetstones and it just didn't hold an edge. So I did that several months ago. This has been seeming to do all right, so um, I understand. I'm not an expert at this. There's two with an axe. You really don't want a razor sharp edge on your axe. So uh, it dulls quicker, but I've seen a lot of videos out there, including Ray Mears. He's sitting there with his Japanese water stone going right at it, so. But uh, it's going to take a little time, relaxing. So, well, while I'm doing this, I just uh, do a little commenting. Uh, I've been getting a lot of good comments on the uh, recent hiking trip that me and uh, Ryan Fixed by Doc went on to uh, the Kiwana Trail. Been a couple of questions, and maybe I can answer some of them because I didn't specify that in the video. One being, where is the Kiwana Trail? Well, the Kiwana Trail is located in north central Pennsylvania. It's part of the Black Mashoning Wilderness Area. It runs between the counties of Clearfield, Elk, and Cameron County. Uh, give a the trailhead I was at was in Parker Dam, which is outside of Penfield, PA, about 17 miles uh, northeast of uh, uh, Dubois, and about 30, I'm going to say about roughly 30 miles north of uh, Clearfield, Pennsylvania. So the whole trail itself 70 some miles. I don't have my maps in here to give you the exact numbers, but uh, there are so many different ways you can do that trail. You can do it in halves like I, we did. I did a half last year with uh, Ron, crazy one, uh, and then Ryan the other 30 some. There's a 20 mile east connector, 20 mile west connector. There is like a bunch of different uh, oh, cross country steed trails on it as well. Uh, there's the Cinema Honing Trail runs in with it. There's the Elk trail that runs with it so a lot of opportunities right through that area there is so many opportunities for trails in Pennsylvania's Pennsylvania it's crazy but uh, in the same token Pennsylvania is a hilly uh, state rocky state so you're going to uh, see that it's not the easiest state to hike in so but I'm not in for easy I like it that I have a challenge, you know, it keeps me in shape. Um, just teaches you to, to watch your weights in your pack. Uh, it make it a little, little bit easier on you. So I commented to the one Boy Scout leader, I said, you know, there's a whole lot different than hunting seas when I'm walking these hills up here with just my rifle on my shoulder and a, maybe a 10 pound pack, you know. Because I try to keep a basic survival kit with me, some water, a uh, way of purifying water, an emergency shelter with me. So I can get up 10, 15 pounds in that. So then if I have to drag a deer out, <laughs> that's a different story. So we're getting there slowly but surely. I still need to get some uh, linseed oil and linseed oil to handle uh, and some polish and polish up the. Uh, sheath board. Um, haven't really got a chance to really utilize this axe enough. Uh, I wanted to get out and do an overnight bushcraft style trip. I'll do something local um, and uh, use the zebra pot and maybe try to make some bannock. I've never done that yet so try that out. So uh, well to mention something since I just see him here in my last video too with Ryan, he saw he gave me those charms I'm real thrilled with. He also provided me with some of these uh, a 
alerts that he himself and you saw uh, ten, uh, Mr. Ten, the, uh, the, the Mr. Table Guy Ten has as well, and how he set them up for around your uh, tamp site. Uh, another thing Ryan suggested was if you're in a shelter like along the AT or something, uh, you can just go ahead and hook one into your pack inside the pack, and this on the outside and. A piece of like uh, trip wire or whatever, put it to a crevice or something in the shelter. So when somebody tries to take your pack in the middle of the night, you're gonna know about it. So, but some people, frankly, are jerks. <laughs> They'll pull stunts like that. So, but uh, oh, let me see. What was another question regarding the hike or comment? Oh. I can't remember exactly who it was commented there was whiskey medic that you know he surprised me and uh, Ryan survived the trip together because of some of the videos at the beginning I did not honestly know what to expect you know you can see what a person's sort of like on video but you don't know if that's actually what they're like in person you know what I mean and I had to have my guard up you know uh, and tell you what, besides, Ryan is more or less what you see on the video. Uh, my wife always joked with me, I talked a lot, but I tell you what, Ryan has me beat. <laughs> so, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it, it made the trip a lot funner, you know. My only concern was I was trying to listen to for rattlesnakes. <laughs> But uh, fortunately, we only saw that one, and it was more afraid of us than we were of it. So, I'm trying to watch the time here. Today's the last day of school for my daughter. I got to pick her up earlier today, but still not for a couple hours. And she'll be anxious for her summer vacation to begin. getting there but still has a lot of work to do all right guys just something short uh, it's probably gonna be another couple weeks till I get out and get to do something again uh, schools just like I said coming to an end I got to wait till weekends now to do my trips which is uh, I you know I got to be home to watch my daughter when she's out of school so in the weekends the wife's off so I can go out and play but I try to rotate them as well you know one weekend for them and one weekend for me you know it's all fair so uh should get my fishing license here hopefully in the next couple weeks too and maybe do some fishing and do a couple videos on that uh i haven't gone really much fishing one day last year with my daughter at a campground so and i got all this gear i got rods and reels and lures out the wazoo some of them i haven't even used yet so really need to uh get that out and play so all right, guys, as always, thanks for watching the PA Woodsman's channel. And check out a lot of the other ones that have subscribed to me and uh, who I subscribe to because there's a lot of great uh, informative information out there. Uh, and uh, all right, guys, have a great day.